Um, during Earth's early history, there were wars in space for ownership of this planet. Skirmishes took place, and Earth became a place of duality. Certain creator gods who had the right to do whatever they wanted, because Earth is a free will zone, came in and took over. When the skirmish occurred, a certain group of entities fought in space and won the territory of Earth. These new owners did not want the native Earth species, the humans, to be informed of what took place. Uninformed, the species would be easier to control. That is why light is information and darkness is lack of information. These entities beat out light and Earth became their territory. These new owners who came here 300,000 years ago are the magnificent beings spoken of in your Bible, in the Babylonian and Sumerian tablets, and in texts all over the world. They came to Earth and rearranged the native human species. They rearranged your DNA in order to have you broadcast within a certain limited frequency band whose frequency could feed them and keep them in power. The original human was a magnificent being whose twelve strands of DNA were contributed by a variety of sentient civilizations. When the new owners came in, they worked in their laboratories and created versions of humans with a different DNA, the two-stranded double helix DNA. The original DNA pattern was left within the human cells, yet it was not functional. It was split apart, unplugged. Within human cells are light-encoded filaments, fine gossamer threads of energy that carry information. When these gossamer threads are working together like a cable, the way fiber optics works, they form the helix of your DNA. When you were rearranged, you were left with a double helix. Anything that was unnecessary for survival and that would keep you informed was unplugged, leaving you with only a double helix that would lock you into controllable, operable frequencies. We, as Pleiadians, came back through time into what would perhaps be called our past in the vestige of representatives of light. We came back in order to share a frequency with you, a frequency that each one of you has agreed to carry on this planet in order to change the DNA of the rearranged human race. The plan to change the frequency modulation affecting the human species entails the rebundling of your DNA and of the light-encoded filaments. Earth is assisting, in its own way, the evolution of the universe. It is where the plan begins to blossom and what happens on Earth is going to affect many, many worlds. Your DNA will evolve from two helixes to twelve helixes. These twelve helixes correspond to energy centers or chakras inside and outside of your body. This process is an incredible evolutionary leap for one to be involved in, and it is going to take place on an accelerated path for the next twenty years. There are those who have already received a realignment of the twelve strands of DNA, the twelve helixes. These twelve spiral strands of DNA interact with one another in the body and outside of the body. The connection of the twelve strands means that the twelve energy or information centers can begin to function and send information back and forth to one another. When human DNA begins to rebundle as a 12-stranded helix system and this information is acted upon, there will be incredible power. Individuals, simply by coming together and jointly intending what they want, jointly becoming a telepathic receptacle for energies from all over the cosmos, will change the face of the universe. There will be a merging of identities, a merging of cultures, an infusion of many new world orders, and there will be much chaos and confusion. As members of the family of light, you can simply observe this, knowing that chaos and confusion must come to break down the system so that it can be rebuilt with light. 
As members of the family of light, you can understand that there is an evolutionary process taking place and that those who can handle the changing frequencies by all means will evolve. There are many misconceptions about the idea of godhood. The universes are full of intelligent beings who have, over time, evolved and developed all sorts of capabilities and functions to serve their needs to express themselves creatively. The importance behind existence and consciousness is creativity, and creativity takes many forms. Eons ago, Earth was but a thought in the mind of great beings who had set before themselves the task of creating new forms of existence. Many of these beings affected the creation of this universe, and you have termed them God. In actuality, they were extraterrestrial, light-bearing energies far removed from Prime Creator. We rarely use the term God with a big G. If we were to use that term, we would be referring to the entity we know as Prime Creator. Prime Creator, in its own personal implosion through love, endowed all things with consciousness. All things are Prime Creator on Prime Creator's journey. The evolution of consciousness and the ability to house information is what allows one to come into the proximity of Prime Creator. Many people on earth have felt that they have merged with God. They may have merged with a portion of Prime Creator that best suited their vibration at the time. The total vibration of Prime Creator would destroy the physical vehicle in an instant because it cannot house that much information. Those that represent God to you are but a minute portion of Prime Creator. The Creator Gods who have been ruling this planet have the ability to become physical, though mostly they exist in other dimensions. They keep Earth in a certain vibrational frequency while they create emotional trauma to nourish themselves. There are some beings who honor life before everything else, and there are also beings who do not honor life and do not understand their connection to it. The Creator Gods are space beings who have their own home in space. They are also evolving. Before the takeover, about 300,000 years ago, many of the original team worked here to bring information and create this vast information center that was to be used to connect many galactic systems. Then there was a great war among the Creator Gods, and the space beings, whose stories are in the ancient manuscripts of this planet, won the fight. They came here because they wanted this place for many of their own reasons. In Prime Creator's universe here, all things are allowed. Because all things are allowed, many lessons are learned. Who are these beings who came in and rent asunder the original plans for Earth? Who are these space beings we sometimes refer to as the dark t-shirts? These space beings are part human and part reptilian. We call them the Lizzies because we like to make things a little less emotional and a little humorous so that you don't take them so seriously and get so upset. We are not here to frighten you. We are here to inform you. Some creator gods created life just to have it take care of them or meet their needs. They have fed off your emotions. One of the big secrets that has been kept from you as a species is the richness and wealth that accompanies emotion. You have been steered away from exploring emotion because through emotion you can figure things out. Your emotions connect you with the spiritual body. The spiritual body, of course, is non-physical, existing on the multidimensional sphere. Within the Lizzie population, there are those who are benevolent and those who are malevolent. Why are we telling you all this? Why do you need to know it? You need to know it because the Lizzie reality is re-entering and merging with your dimension. You must make